Hello and welcome to this uh, special report of, of uh, ADS Securities Market Research and today we'll be looking at the U.S. jobs report for the month of October which will be released later today at uh, 5.30 Abu Dhabi local time and 1.30 p.m. Uh, GMT time and basically we'll start with uh, some headlines today and we have seen uh, for the past few weeks some uh, figures, some employment figures across the country or across uh, the U.S. sectors which showed kind of like slowing down and we have found out that there's kind of like six uh, signals showing for uh, a weaker jobs report today. In addition to that, there's the industry consensus uh, forecast around 1 uh, 126,000 new jobs and unemployment to go up to 7.3, up from 7.2 in September. Uh, on the other hand, we have ADS securities estimate uh, lower uh, jobs between 90 to 105,000 jobs in October and unemployment to go up again to 7.3 from 7.2. Uh, for the past, again, for the past few weeks, we've seen uh, some uh, uh, employment indices which came in with uh, a slowing down in the employment, uh, in the employment uh, component of uh, various sectors, which especially in the manufacturing sector, which shows that uh, there is kind of a slowing down in the jobs sector and it might affect also the U.S. jobs report. In addition to that, okay, we should not forget about the uh, U.S. government shutdown, which, which took place also in October, and it might have a significant impact on this report today. So basically, first of all, we have uh, more than six uh, uh, signals points to a weaker jobs uh, report today and we will start with, uh, uh, with that we have only four uh, economic figures that shows that there is uh, that could be uh, better than expected or at least uh, uh, a good jobs report. Basically we'll start with the non-manufacturing employment component which uh, came up to 56.2 in October versus 52.7 in September. Chicago employment also improved to 57.7 in uh, October versus f or up from 53.2 uh, in September. Continuing claims also it declined a little bit, it'll slip to 2.8 million from uh, 2.9 million and challenger jobs cut decreased by 4% versus or uh, down from 19.1 percent in September. These are the only four uh, uh data sets that points to a good uh, jobs report today. However, we have more than or around six uh, uh, data sets that points to uh, a weaker jobs report today. So basically we'll start with the manufacturing employment which came down to 53.2 from 55.4. Jobless claims also ticked higher at the end of uh, October to 340,000 uh, claims versus or from uh, uh, 308,000 uh, claims. Also University of Michigan and CB Consumer Conference also declined significantly in October. Uh, University of Michigan uh, slipped to 73.2 and uh, and also a CB Consumer Confidence has slipped to 71 from 80.2. ADP uh, non-farm or the uh, U.S. Uh, private sector added around 130,000 uh, jobs in uh, October from 145,000 in September and finally a four-week moving average of claims also ticked higher to 356,000 from 305,000. Uh, from these figures we can uh, see that there's only again that we have only four data sets that points to better than expected or at least a good uh, jobs report today and at the other hand we have like more or around six uh, uh, data sets that points to weaker jobs report today however there's a lot of uh, economic figures that came in with a surprise a few days ago especially just like the one that came out yesterday advanced gdp for the u.s for the uh, third quarter came in with a surprise rising to 2.8 percent from 2.5 while it had been ex anticipated to uh, go down to two percent in addition to that also even if the uh, if the figures came in with uh, uh, with a surprise which likely uh, uh, which is unlikely right now however the uh, data that we have it doesn't also uh, support this uh, kind of uh, of a surprise however here we will put some uh, uh, some scenarios and the impact on the US dollar that could happen due to these figures today we will have like four uh, scenarios or four uh, 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 points that we will be looking at especially for the euro uh, against the dollar uh, first scenario is the US dollar to uh, the European uh, currency to sell off to 132.95 if the uh, non-farm payroll or the US uh, economy added more than 150,000 jobs unemployment rate to tick higher also as expected to 7.3 the second scenario also for the euro again is to sell off to 1.3171 if a uh, non-farm payroll exceeds 150,000 new jobs and unemployment rate to be like unchanged or better than expected at least to come down 
to 7.2 or 7.1. The uh, third uh, scenario, which is the uh, there's no change in uh, the Europe, uh, the uh, the euro uh, against the dollar. If the, uh, the U.S. economy added just only less than 100,000. Uh, uh, 100,000 jobs and the unemployment came in unchanged or better than expected. And finally, which uh, we believe that uh, this uh, uh, scenario could happen today, uh, for the euro to go up to 131, uh, 135, sorry, if the non farm payrolls came in or the US economy added only uh, less than 100,000 jobs and unemployment ticks higher again above 7.3 or 7.3 or above 7.3%. These are the uh, latest uh, scenarios that we have. Uh, thank you for watching us today. Uh, we will have uh, another uh, videos and another uh, market updates on the markets and on uh, some special events. Keep watching us and thank you for uh, watching today. Have a good day.